easy, believe it One way or another, I know it's for Jesus He is faith as big as a mustard seed is All the things in this world are deedless All but he is A Bible and a verse Put the Bible beat the hearse Put the shackles off this curse He beat the worst And when you wake up, wait, make sure you put God first Put God first I believe in the Father Hello, hello, and welcome to Inside the Haven, where we are mentoring minds and changing lives. I am Miss Toy. Uh, we mentor minds and, ch and change lives by way of bringing you, young man, young lady, up close and personal conversations with business and career professionals, uh, sharing with you what their purpose is, because you never know, you may want to do what they do. And tonight's guest, I have someone very special here with me tonight. I have Miss Karen Vickers of Tailoring by Blackwell. And so welcome, Karen. Thank you. <laughs> Glad to have you. And so, uh, I guess I already said it, you are a tailor. Yes. And so, uh, what is a tailor? I mean, I know, but tell us what is a tailor. A tailor is a person that can sew men's and women's clothing. Mm -hmm. A seamstress is a woman that does women's clothing. I didn't know that. I didn't. Yes. I, I'm glad I asked that. I didn't know that. <laughs> So a tailor is one thing, a seamstress is something else. Yes, a, a tailor can be both male or female. Uh, and mm -hmm. a seamstress just does women's clothing. Mm -hmm. Yes. And so you do both because you're a tailor. Yes. Yes. You learn something new every day. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> okay, so how long have you been been a tailor? Well, professionally I've been one for 25 years. Okay. 26. But I've been sewing, oh, probably 40 years. Yeah, about 42 years. Now they used to teach. We used to have a class in school called home economics. Yes, and mm -hmm. I learned how because uh, sewing was in my family too. Yes, yes. And and so I learned how I caught it at home, mm -hmm. and I and then I I uh, learned the ins and outs of it or whatever at school. Yes, Northern High School, but they don't do that in school anymore. Uh, I don't know when they took home ec out of school because we we could either have. Uh, Cooking, there was cooking class half the year, and then there was sewing, yes. or you mm -hmm. could elect to do one or the other. Um, so, how did you learn? Well, I did. I did take the home ex class in eighth grade, I believe it was. And so, by that time, I did know uh, somewhat uh, about sewing. And uh, when I took the class, my teacher said, uh huh, you trying to get an easy A. <laughs> so, she made me her assistant. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I, so I've never taken any classes since, uh, but my parents were sewers. My okay. mom actually was a tailor when her, my dad and, the, and her met. And um, my dad always wanted to learn how to sew. He really always had that desire. To really? really? Know. Wow. And so he learned from my mom. My mom taught my dad. And before you know it, my dad was also my mother. So, so did they have a shop? Or yes, okay. yes, they did. They did it at, at our home. They had the whole basement finished for their for their tailor shop. Wow! Mm -hmm. when, yes. Right, right here in Flint. Yes, right here in Flint. Wow! Yes, on, on East Carpenter Road. Wow! Yes. Wow! Mm -hmm. And so, so you just carried on the tradition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, later mm -hmm. on in life, I did. Okay. My my father passed away at a young age. Unfortunately, he was fifty five. And uh, let's see, that was probably about 1983. Mm -hmm. And I didn't actually start my business until 1991. Okay. Yes. You mean formally started because you were always in it. It was always around. It was just kind of Yeah, kind of always doing it on the side mm -hmm. just to make a little extra money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I never thought I would be doing it full time as a living. Ne never. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been doing it full time or did you say that already? Well, 25 years. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, yes. Oh, wow. That's mm -hmm. a long time. Since 1991. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. Started good. out just part time. I, I actually was working full time at the Flint Journal, and I love my job. And uh, but they they wouldn't give me what I really wanted, as mm -hmm. you can say. And I needed to make more money, and so I started sewing uh, for a lot of the coworkers, and uh, just sewing on the side, taking things home, and picking up sewing wherever I could, the cleaners, whatever. And uh, so you know what, I I fell in love with it. I fell in love with it, and 
one day I said, you know what, I'm going to have to decide. Uh, I don't think I need to work practically full time at the Flint Journal and full time doing the business. And so it was like, okay, you need to pick something. Just choose what you want to do and leave something out. So I chose the business and dived in full time. You know, when you when you said they wouldn't give you what you what, what you really wanted, well, mm -hmm. I thought maybe they weren't supposed to. You know, because they say, they're saying mm -hmm. when God closed one door, another one opened. Yes. You know, doors closed for yes. a reason. Yes, yes. <laughs> you yes. know, and, and, yes. and that's to, you know, when we don't go willingly into purpose, a door will close and push us there. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly what happened. Wow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, uh, so do you feel so? I so almost by default you chose what what was chosen for you because you said that you had to make you had to make a choice to either do okay, and so you you chose what was already chosen for you the the tailoring yeah all right yeah. great great got to that's how it go got to got pushed into it yeah got pushed into it yeah. and just it was it overtook me I mean I did I wasn't planning on making it into a career and uh i was just so overwhelmed with work and people calling me and wanting me to do things for them and i said well wow you know <laughs> you're supposed to be part of time <laughs> I, I um i used to sew too and um but it, it was uh i hated i hated alterations and you know because people have a, have a right to be specific and want what they want you know, but mm -hmm. I hated that. Yeah. I I, mm -hmm. I could whip up something for me, lickety split. Mm -hmm. But um, and I can make something for you too. Mm -hmm. But if I had to go back and tweak it a little bit, eh, mm -hmm. it's so it, it just wasn't for me. Yeah. Not not to be full time mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so um, my next question I always ask people is, well, what life experience, college, or what qualifies you to do this? Well. You grew up in this. You grew up. Basically, yes, I did grow up in it. It's just like in my blood. And then uh, uh, I, I kind of fell into a happy stance because I was going to Western Michigan University. And uh, one semester I went back to school too late. And, uh, well, I went before classes started, but I should have been back at least a month before <laughs> so I could get a good job on campus. And all the students had already taken all the jobs on campus, and so I had to go off campus. To get a job, <laughs> and I ended up getting a job at a tailor shop. <laughs> at a tailor shop downtown Kalamazoo, uh, I need. I had to have a job, and so I started working at this tailor shop. And when I was probably what nineteen, wow! And I basically been sewing professionally for since. somebody since. So, so what were you uh, majoring in in college, and how long did you go? To well, college? well, actually, uh, communication arts and sciences. Okay. I, I really wanted to be a TV broadcaster. Okay, that's really what I wanted to do, and uh, I was going to school for that. And uh, unfortunately, I did I did not finish. I did not graduate. I ended up moving back to Flint. My mm -hmm. father had gotten really ill, mm -hmm. and in and out of the hospital, he he had diabetes very bad, mm -hmm. and. Uh, so I came back to Flint. I, I wanted to be to be around my dad for of a good course, little yeah. while. And I thank God that I did because he, he only lasted about mm, two years after I moved mm -hmm. back to Flint. Mm -hmm. So so do you regret, because I hear a lot of adults say, you know, they, they wind up in, 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 they're in purpose, but that's not the thing that they're doing now is not what they set out to do. So um, do you regret not finishing the degree, not becoming the... Television. I wouldn't say I regret it uh, because what I'm doing, I love what I'm doing. It's prosperous, but I believe there is still an uh, avenue for me to go into mm -hmm. the broadcast in, in a sense. I, I can still do it a little bit. I've done a few little commercials for my really? business. So, you know, like now I'm here with you. So, I'm on TV. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, it's, it's a blessing. I can talk to people. Mm -hmm. um, I get to talk to people uh, when I'm working and I'm dealing with my customers. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's like I say, I wanted to do that talk, mm -hmm. be able to talk. So I am able to talk. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like having you can a cake, cake. Yeah, yeah, cake and eat the two in a sense. So. Okay, very good. Yeah. yeah, very good. Um, so do do you, do you did you have a mentor to? I guess your parents or your mentors were basically yeah. And I've worked at so many uh, stores uh, doing alterations mm -hmm. that whoever was my boss was sort of like a mentor. I've worked with. Uh, a, a Greek guy. I've worked with an Italian lady. I've worked with Sicilian. I mean, I've worked with just about every nationality. Yeah, uh -huh. And so I've learned a little bit from here, a little bit from there, and taking what I like from this person and right. doing what I do 
and put it all together mm -hmm. in one, you know. So I've, I've had quite a few mentors. I can't say that. Yes. Well, yes. I, I can remember having commercial machines and uh, I used to make uh, choir robes and, and uh, I made uh, um, salon wear. I would, I would make it, you know, get the fabric, cut it and make it. Take it out and you know package it up and take it out and sell it. Mm -hmm. I was wearing mm -hmm. myself out, <laughs> you know. But but it, it was you know uh, it it can be very lucrative, very lucrative. You know, being being a I wasn't a tailor. I would say as being a seamstress. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and since you defined that for me, I never knew that. I really didn't. I really didn't. Um, so have you had to overcome any obstacles? To, that you would like to share to, to be uh, tailoring by Karen Vickers, tailoring by Blackwell? Mm, well, mm, I've had some I'll obstacles as far as staying up all night uh -huh, <laughs> trying yeah. to be dead lives. I've done you that know, too. Oh yeah. my goodness. I've had, you know, people unfortunately, you know, just walk out in the middle of a big contract, mm -hmm. you know, like you mentioned, choir robes or usher uniforms that I had to make. And, uh, you know, that right there would make you just want to, you know, close up, mm -hmm. you know, pack up and say, I can't do this, you know. So, yeah, that those have been some obstacles, you know, just sitting there crying <laughs> over these clothes, you know, working on this on the fabric yeah. and getting water on the clothing, you know, then I got to yeah. pull my blow dryer off <laughs> and dry it so it don't even stain on the fabric. So, uh, though that that I guess you would call that a big obstacle, but I got through, and thank God, uh, you know, stayed with it and, and sold all night if necessary, two nights straight if necessary, and, and had to get the job done. Yeah, I, I, I remember I, I had a shop uh, in the Oak Business Center uh, when I was making those uh, salon wear, and I can remember several times my husband coming down there two or three o'clock in the morning yeah. to mm -hmm. get me. Okay, mm -hmm. you know, shut it down. Yeah, you gotta go. Yeah. But like I said, you got a deadline to meet. It, it, mm -hmm. it was it was sometimes hard to find good help, mm -hmm. you know. Um, um, and but you, but you got you you made a promise, you yeah. know. You gave the word, word. Mm -hmm. and and so you got to deliver. Yes, you do. You know, but doing that and keeping your word it, it builds your character. Yes, and and makes you stronger mm -hmm. and 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 sets you up to meet be able to meet any other challenge that come your way. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, a good name is better than rubies. Right, and you have to keep a good name and. And I think, uh, you, you know, go out of business if you don't have a good name. I, I think, you know, after 25 years, I can, I can say that I, I think I have a pretty good name. Mm -hmm. I, um, so what do you like most about what you do? About being a, about being a tailor? What do you like most about going, that? Getting back to the deadlines and meeting those emergency uh, situations. I've had people where they had to have something done right away. It was a uh, dress came in at the last minute for a wedding. And they panicked and said, oh, you're the only person that, that said yes. And... Uh, could do it at such a short notice and to be able to come through for somebody like that It just makes you feel good, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people, um, you know, they would say that's too much pressure I can't work on this, you know, but I Don't know it. Yeah, I can I, it doesn't bother me I like being able to have a challenge and be able to meet it mm -hmm. and and see that smile on a person's face and they say, oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. You're a miracle worker. I said, no, I'm not a miracle worker. Only God is that. Right. Pat yeah. yourself on the back. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> That's very good. Yeah. Um, so, do, do you feel like you, you've reached your, uh, your ultimate destiny? Is this your ultimate destiny or is there something else in store for, for Karen Vickers that, you know, some other avenues you want to pursue? Oh, yes. It's so much more to do. It's so much more to do. Um, I really want to have a sewing school. I really want to have a sewing school. Yeah, you talk, we talk, you mentioned that to yes, me a couple years ago. a sewing ago. school. And I want to actually own my building where mm -hmm. I'm at. You know, so that's what I'm working on right now as we speak. That, um, I, you know, I don't want to move again. But I, it's looking like I'm mm -hmm. going to move again because mm -hmm. I don't own the building mm -hmm. that I'm operating out of. I love my location and, and all of that. But um, I, I, I have to own my building. And, so, so uh, would you like to share where your location is at now? Uh, uh, because you haven't moved yet. You want to share in case someone wants yeah. to? Yeah. Well, well, currently, how they get hold of you? Okay. Well, currently I am located at G four zero three four Miller Road. Um, I'm probably a half mile west of I seventy five, and I'm directly across from the AT and T store, which is next to Family Dental. So I'm directly across the street from AT&T. It's the former Accurate Accounting and Tax. And that's the building that I'm in.
Yes. Yeah, that that's a nice little that's uh because it was used to be a house. Yes. It's it's a it's a nice little building there. Yes. Very very nice, very nice. Thank you. Um, well, I I will say that Karen does great work. She's done work for me, and I recommend her. I got some work for her today. She's gonna take home with her when she leaves the studio. <laughs> Take it can't with beat you. It, can't beat it. Right, right. Bless coming in and bless going out. There you go. There you go. So, so um, are you in are are you in ministry? Well, I work in my church. I guess okay. you could say that. Um, okay. At my church, uh, which is Church of the Harvest International, uh, Bishop Neil Robinson. I am uh, the greeter ministry leader. Okay. In my church. All right. Yes. Um, well, with, with, with that, um, I wanted to stop right here and offer a little bit of encouragement to our young listeners out there, wherever you are. And this card says, why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? Why be ordinary when you can be extraordinary? Mm -hmm. um, there's a song and the old saying goes that God uses ordinary people. Well, I beg to differ. You know, there's nothing ordinary about God. And, and when you serve him, there's nothing ordinary about you. So I, I don't say that God uses ordinary people. He takes us and makes us something and, 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 and we become extraordinary. So therefore, God uses extraordinary people. So don't be ordinary. You are not ordinary. You are extraordinary. You are extraordinary, okay? All righty. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and also, um, Clarissa Shields, is uh, she has her uh, first professional fight tonight. I wish her well. I hope she wins. Congratulations in advance. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> All right, I wish I could have went. But. Mm -hmm. Now, see, speaking on uh, the satisfaction of being able to deliver for someone at the last minute, a gentleman was going to see her fight tonight mm -hmm. and came to the shop and needed his uh, shirt altered mm -hmm. for going down there. And I did it. And he picked it up right before I came really? here. Yes. Wow. Yes. That's good. That's good. Met a deadline. Yes. Uh, okay, so did I ask you what's next for you? What else did you want to achieve? Did I ask you that? The school. The school. Oh, the school. The okay. school. So, yes. so, 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 the so school. do you have a, um, a projected date or how big you want it to be or... Uh, I would say within a year, okay. I should I should be. I've, I've had several sewing classes throughout the years, mm -hmm. you know, uh, at my shop. But to actually have a uh, set school, like a uh, set schedule, not just mm -hmm. this hit and miss classes here and there. But I, I want to have a, a set schedule, you know, uh, times. And so that, I want to have that set in place at least within a year. I would say about a year. I'll say about a year. I should be able to have that set up. I would say, you know, uh, with with the water crisis that's been going on here in Flint, that uh, I, I believe it, it's, it, of course, it's not been good. It's not what we wanted, but I, I believe because of it, you know, good things come out of adversity. And I, I believe a lot of people, a lot of us are, you know, uh, picking up ourselves by our bootstraps and figuring mm -hmm. out, you know, what we can do to help, what what, what we can do to be greater, you know, uh, to be greater than, than, than ourselves, to, to do more than, than we've done in the past. And, and so you see a lot of new businesses open up. You see a lot of new uh, organizations getting started and, and people are collaborating more to, you know, uh, because two can do more than one mm -hmm. and, and making things happen here in Flint. So I, I wish you much success. With that school, I mean, because um, it, it's it's probably needed, because uh, again, like I said earlier, I don't know how long it's been since we've had a home economics class in Flint. Yes, that yes. that left yes. years and years yes. and years ago. Yes, and and uh, you know, ultimately, that will turn into manufacturing. Yeah, you know, we need to manufacture right here in Flint, mm -hmm. and have it done right here in Flint, Michigan. And and then yes. something like that can bring in uh, business from. It doesn't just have to come from Flint. It can come from anywhere. Oh, yes. Anywhere. But I, I just want to be able to create jobs right here in Flint. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that that's the goal. That is the ultimate goal to uh, this talent to go into our youth. Mm -hmm. I, you know, it, I have to leave it with somebody. My, as a matter of fact, my son is learning the trade right now as we speak. You said he's and, working with you. Yeah, so mm -hmm. third generation. I just <laughs> love it. My father would be so proud I bet. Uh, to see him sewing right now. Wow. I've got a chance to meet my son. Our son, rather. <laughs> wow. So so, so how, how long would a person, um, or, or have you worked this product, product out yet? How long would a person uh, be in your class or are you going to have it uh, be they can earn a certificate or some type of degree or 
that that's what I'm working on right there. Okay. Certificate. Certificate. Okay. Uh, we're talking about six months. Okay. You know, and then I want to eventually move into two years. I, mm -hmm. I guess because we're so, I mm -hmm. guess once you learn the basics. Yes. That would be the base of the mm -hmm. six months. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then two years will go more into uh, garment construction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and but if you are tedious and, and you are plugging in it every day, you can learn this trade within two years. I believe you can do it in two years if you're serious. So right now today, if there's someone listening to you and, and you know, a lot of times little girls would grow up, we're fashion minded some kind of way. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if there's a young lady out there and she wants to learn how to sew, what, what, what could she do? Because there's... We don't know. I don't know anybody out there. Mm -hmm. What could she do? What should she do? I would say the first thing she needs to do is she needs to go buy a sewing machine. Mm -hmm. A sewing machine, you could buy uh, $200 or less. Mm -hmm. Go buy you a sewing machine, get you a pattern, get you some fabric, and just start cutting out. Just follow the directions from the pattern. You know, it's just, it, and that's another thing. You're going to learn how to read. You're going to learn how to do your math, your basic math, because you got to divide, you got to multiply, you got to learn how to measure. Um, so you, you're you going to learn more than just sewing. And mm -hmm. so it's just a great uh, way to really excel in, in every area, you know. Uh, but yeah, I would say you need to get you a sewing machine and get you a pattern and get busy. You better get that yes. school going. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 I I, uh, I used to sell draperies and um, at J C Penney I sold draperies for about five years, and I think what got me that that job it, um, I made a lot of money doing that too. But what got me that job was because I told them that I knew how to sew, which I did, and I understood fabric and measurement. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it went beyond just the. Sewing for me at the time yeah. would be beyond just yeah. sewing. Yes, yes. Would be beyond that. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So, is there anything that uh, you would like to share with them, our youth out there that may wanna, that may wanna sew or 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 this was whatever's on your heart? Well, if you want to learn how to sew and you had a desire, you are more than welcome to come see me. You can come sit and shadow me uh, at my shop. I would be more than happy to just give you some words of wisdom or and let you sit at my machine and, and maybe just help you out and just see if that's something that you want to do. Uh, just be around it. Uh, deal with the customer. Be able to talk to the customer. You can, I'll let you uh, take measurements, show you how to take measurements. And uh, just dealing with the person is, is so gratifying also. Uh, just being able to make their dream come true. If they have something in their mind that they want to make. And they bring you this picture. Uh, you know, to look at it and say, okay, I think I can do this. I, I'm, I can do this. I can do this. And so, uh, yeah, I would love for you to come to the shop and just talk to me. Give them your name and, and, give them your name and location again. Okay, my name is Karen. Vickers. Uh, some people call me Blackwell because my business name is Tailoring by Blackwell. Um, I started my business before I got married. So uh, with my dad being a tailor, uh, his last name was Blackwell. So I just kept that name. But my name is Karen Vickers and my number is 810-733-5012. And I would be more than happy to answer any questions that you have. Oh, and one more thing. Do you do prom dresses? Yes. Okay. I do prom dresses. As a matter of fact, I had a lady today, young lady came today with her picture and took her measurements and sent her right down the street to Joanne's to get her get fabric. fabric. Mm -hmm. yep. So so, mm -hmm. so so you can take something from just the the idea stage and kind of yeah, maybe draw I, it up for them or make something. It, make it make it from the picture. Make okay. it from the picture. Wow. Yes, with the with the Lord's help. That's amazing. Me, That's yes. amazing. Well, okay. Well, with that, I want to thank you. Thank you, Karen, for well, coming. Thank you. And, and thank you for your patience. Thank and you. I've enjoyed talking with you today. <laughs> I always enjoy talking to you. Um, and I want to thank you for being with us tonight on Inside the Haven. Uh, well, once again, we're mentoring minds and changing lives. And I want to invite you. Uh, if you have, uh, uh, you want to share your expertise, uh, who you are, what you do, why you do what you do with our young people out there. We need you. We want you to come on and have an up close and personal conversation with us. You never know. Some young person out there might want to do exactly what you're doing. Or after they hear from you, they'll find out, that's what I want to do. They want to, they want to be you when they grow yes, up. Yes. And you, you young man, young lady, uh, uh, I want to invite you to come on for a few minutes. And uh, you can come and sing a song. You can come and talk is your science project. Whatever it is you do, like to do, want to do. We want you to come on. We want to showcase you. Let, let, let the world know who you are and how good you are at what you do and what you want to do and, and the avenue of life that you want to pursue. Uh, so give me a call. Y'all can be reached at 810-577-6556. Um, you can send me an email and say, Miss Toy, I want to be on your show. 
um, inside the haven at gmail.com uh, you you can uh, go to my website inside the haven .com, and and if you have a, a, a youth conference or anything going on you can send us an email we'll post it on the website we have different things on the website every day different topics that we'll talk about uh, we have question and answer on Saturdays so you know youth you can send us your question and we can answer it. it'll be anonymous but you will get uh, the answer that answers that you need and did I share everything? I think I did. I think I did. Uh, so once again, thank you for joining us and good night. Say the shameless poem, just trying to avoid where the shameless go. Love my father whole deeper than a rich man with the hand full of his own gold. I'ma do it what the he said, believe it. One way or another, I know it's for Jesus. He is faith as big as a mustard seed is. All the things in this world are needless. All but he is a Bible and a verse. Put the Bible, eat the hearse. Put the shackles off this curse. Keep feet the worst. And when you wake up, wait, make sure you put God first. God first. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Father. I believe in His Son. I believe in His Son and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. The Trinity is one. The Trinity is one. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Father. I believe in His Son. I believe in His Son and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. The Trinity is one. The Trinity is one. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Father. I believe in His Son. Way over another, I know it's for Jesus. He is faith as big as a mustard seed is. All the things in this world are deedless. All but he is a Bible and a verse. Put the Bible with the hearse. Put the shackles off this curse. He beat the worst. And when you wake up, wait, make sure you put God first. Put God first. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Father. I believe in His Son. Shameless home, just trying to avoid where the shame I believe in his son. I believe in his son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. The Trinity is one. The Trinity is one. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Father. I believe in his son. I believe in his son. And the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit. The Trinity is one. The Trinity is one. I believe in the Father. I believe in the Father. I believe in his son. I believe in his son. And the Holy Spirit. This ain't a shameless poem, just trying to avoid where the shame is.